And so the question that you chose to ask Will it be better where we're going? And though the answer I don't know for a fact Still my heart is saying What's going on Impact Nation? My name is Silent and before I introduce myself Let me introduce the gameplay in the background It is brought to us by Impact Sway It is a 286-0 Demolition gameplay on Nuketown 2025. Now let me say this before I even continue this commentary, all right? I'm not a big pub stomping guy, all right? I can get decent gameplays, but I am no crazy pub stomper. I can't get 100 pluses too often. And when I was told that I was going to be commentating over a 286 in O gameplay, I nearly fell out of my chair because it's something I've never done before. I've never gotten the opportunity to commentate over such a gameplay. So, yeah, I, I was almost in shock that I was told I was going to be commentating over this. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I actually haven't even seen it yet. I've just simply been told what I'm commentating over. So, as soon as I see the video, it's going to be as big a surprise to me as it is to you. Anyways, so let me just introduce myself. My name is Silent. I run the channel Silent Soldier. And essentially what I do is I just commentate about whatever comes to my mind and I commentate over normal average gameplays. I'm just like you guys, alright? You you guys are watching this like, oh, this is really cool, I, I wish I could do that. And believe me, so do I. I wish I could do this stuff. I can't, though. I can just sit here and talk. That's all. I can, I can talk. That's the only reason I'm even here. So, yeah, today what I want to talk about is the state of the Call of Duty community because, uh, let's be honest, the state of the Call of Duty community is sort of deteriorating. Uh, let me just give you an example. Back when we all played Modern Warfare 2, it had its annoyances and there were people in the game that would annoy you. There were the people who would go in noob tube and stuff, but it was the most fun Call of Duty that personally I have played. Maybe you have a different favorite, but my favorite is Modern Warfare 2. And I feel as if that game just overall was just better, alright? The community at least was better. The game maybe not necessarily, but the community played better. Then, as time went on, it started to deteriorate. For example, now we have Call of Duty Ghosts, alright? And what happens when you play Call of Duty Ghosts? Well, you get very, very long, boring gameplays. You get those gameplays that drag on till time limit. You can get into a free-for-all match, you know, and by time limit because no one wants to move. You can't find a single guy. Even if you're that one guy rushing, you can't find a single guy because everybody is camping behind IEDs. Think about Black Ops 2 and the current state in which it's in right now. I went to a free-for-all match and snipers everywhere. And I, I don't have a problem with snipers necessarily. I don't have a problem if you go and snipe and you're maybe even quick scoping. I don't necessarily mind that. But this is not what I was running into. What I was running into is those full clans, alright, the full party of a clan just sitting there trick shotting, you know, jumping off a building, spinning. I just join in late. I'm like, wait a second. I feel out of place. I'm holding a scar H and these guys are jumping around with DSR 50s and ballistas. I'm totally confused. What is happening? So just think about that, alright? Now, now you understand what I'm saying. The, the, the state of the Call of Duty community is slowly starting to shift into a different Call of Duty community than it used to be. It used to be a fast-paced community upon which you'd get nukes and moabs and stuff like that and it was loads of fun. Even Modern Warfare 3 with all its problems is more fun than Ghosts is right now simply because the community at the time was still semi-good. It was still, you know, you had people that would run around and you'd be able to get into those games where you were like, oh, this is absolutely amazing, I'm having so much fun. Don't get me wrong, those games still exist, even in Call of Duty Ghost. But if you just think about how much more often it happened in the past, and how often it's happening now, you can see it's happening less and less often in these more recent games than in the past games. And that's not because the games themselves have any less nonsense in it. Modern Warfare 2 had one-man army noob tubes, alright? Black Ops 1 had Last Stand, oh dear, Last Stand, oh no. Modern Warfare 3 was Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2 is the snipers. The snipers are a little more uh, everywhere. And now we have Ghosts. Ghosts has IEDs and stuff. Every every one of these Call of Duty games has had something that annoys everybody. But, for some reason, the community has changed. It isn't the Call of Duty, it's the community. And I think if the community can wake up and realize, hey, 
Maybe if we start playing the game like we did in the past and tried to have fun instead of trying to go for crazy gameplays. I can't believe I'm saying this over 286 and 0 gameplay. But if we if we can just sit back and think if we were just playing to have fun, not just for YouTube, because so many people do YouTube now, and that's not bashing on your dream. If you want to be a YouTuber, go ahead, go for it. But YouTube is the main reason why people are doing all this. They really want to be on YouTube. Usually these guys are like kids, you know, they're like 10 year olds and they just really want to be on YouTube and they don't understand that you can't really camp for a gameplay. It doesn't make it entertaining. So, you know, you just got these kids who are camping to try to get their chem strikes because they really want to be on YouTube. And that's just the way it is. They just. The community is starting to change, and I think we have to change it back. Otherwise, no matter how many jetpacks Advanced Warfare throws at us, it's going to be the same thing. It's still going to be annoying. So, yeah, that's that's it. I do hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I hope... <laughs> I just hope you enjoyed the commentary, too, because I really don't even know how this came out. I haven't... I just ramble. I'm sorry. I'm just a rambler. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Impact Nation. Subscribe to my channel. Links in the description to that. And I guess uh, Impact Sway also has a channel. I wasn't alerted to that. But if it if he does, it will also be in the description. Definitely subscribe to him if he has a channel. Because oh my goodness, 286 and oh, what the heck? Anyways, uh, once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. It's wanting what you have. I might not pop bottles in a nightclub or blow up the same way as Mike Stud. When life hits me in the face like a right snub, if you relate, it's alright, cuz.